Hey guys, I'm Ashley Harrington for Red Carpet Report, and we're here in Beverly Hills for NBC Universal's press tour. Hi. Ashley, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So how are you today? I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So tell us why we should watch the show. Um, I think uh, the show has a lot of issues about living in a postmodern world and relationships that I think a lot of people can relate to. Uh, both uncomfortably and hopefully to be able to giggle absurdly at as well. Um, it's the kind of show where we might not like some of the uh, actions that either of the characters do, but there is this sneaky optimism, this postmodern love story of where you start to really root for these two people to connect back together. They're doing things separately and you just want them to, you know, you want those ships to meet in the night. Yeah, the promo is kind of awkward. Do you think couples should watch it together? Yes, I think, um, I think couples can definitely watch it together. Um, I think that's a choice for those couples. Yeah. You can definitely watch it separately. <laughs> um, it's a water cooler show. It'll, it's, it, it definitely creates a lot, it will create a lot of conversation. But it's not trying to, uh, it's, it, you're really following these two people. It's not trying to change um, marriage as we know it. It's not trying to say this is the way either. It's, um, it's really following two people that are um, maybe in very unorthodox ways, but they are trying to do something about this point that they've gotten to in their lives. And they're not throwing in the towel, and they're not despairing. They're, they're fighting, they're, and they're, whether subconsciously or not, they're in love, they're, whether they know it uh, still or not. And, and they're not going to let each other go. To each their own. Absolutely. Yes. So what drew you to this character? Um, I, I really liked the, the idea of a guy that seemingly has it all, has the American dream. He's a financial advisor, he's got plenty of money, he, um, but he, he has gotten to that point in his life where he feels like he's, he's in a self-imposed prison. Something's missing. And he finds that he's, he's just making money for other people and himself, there's no point to that. And so he does something about it. He gives his boss the finger, he kind of has a meltdown and runs to the person that he wants to reconnect with most in his life, his wife, mm -hmm. and finds her with another man. That man ends up being, a, he finds out that man is a male gigolo, and um, in, like I said, instead of smashing the marriage apart, he actually picks up that lost male gigolo phone, and he answers it, and he just starts quest asking, why? why? How did we get like this? Why, why would my wife be needing to go down this road? And how are we going to find personal satisfaction? Well, thank you so much for talking to us and have a good day. Absolutely, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe for more interviews, and leave a comment. Let me know which shows you're looking forward to watching.